The East West Shrine Bowl is the longest running college football all star game, and it's coming to NFL Network on February 1st. It's a good way to kick off your Super Bowl season, if you will. We are pleased now to be joined by the game's director of football operations and player personnel, Eric Galco. What's up, Eric? What's up, Eric? Good morning, guys. How are we doing? We're awesome. Uh, so, Eric, the East West Shrine Bowl is in Dallas this year. It's at the Cowboys practice facility. <clears throat> Why Dallas after being in Las Vegas for the last couple of years? Yeah, we certainly enjoyed ourselves in Las Vegas the last two years, but the chance to be at the Dallas Cowboys facility, <clears throat> I think, was too hard to pass up for our players. We focus on having a, a best in class experience for our players, NFL scouts, agents, all personnel who attend, and being at the best facility in the entire NFL, in the entire country, in the Dallas Cowboys made a lot of sense for our players and for our event. Last year, you guys had a special player named Zay Flowers. Uh, no one really was talking about him as that top, top guy, and now look what he did for the Ravens. What do we got in store for this year? Yeah, a couple top players, I think, this year. Two guys I'm really excited about that I think could rise to being first-round picks. It'll be at the 2024 Trine Bowl this year. Edrick Cooper, linebacker, Texas A&M, one of the most physical, impressive, dynamic linebackers in this class, can blitz, can cover, can run in space. And the NFL teams are really excited to meet him at the Shrine Bowl, and then Leonard Taylor, a defensive tackle from Miami, an underclassman this year, first time the Shrine Bowl has had underclassmen uh, in the All-Star Games history. He's going to rise in the draft process to be hopefully a first-round pick when it's all said and done. Uh, Eric, we love you joining us in a very busy time in the playoffs and the coaching cycle. And, in fact, there is some big news that's developing right now that everybody watching will get to shortly. But we love you do for doing this. We love the Shrine Bowl. In fact, over the last two years, some of the best quarterback prospects who go on to make plays in the NFL come from the Shrine Bowl. We're talking about guys like Brock Purdy, Aiden O'Connell for the Raiders this year, DTR on the Browns. And this year, maybe your highest graded quarterback coming so far is Cam Ward of Washington State. Do you see him and get reminded of any of those guys you've had in the past? You know, he's working with Brock Purdy's quarterback coach, Will Hewlett, um, who's one of the best quarterback coaches out there, worked with Anthony Richardson a year ago as well. So some similarities there. But Cam reminds me a little bit of Brock, but I think a lot of a guy we didn't have, Tyler Murray, um, who's really blossomed coming back to the Cardinals this year. He's an instinctive, can improvise quite well, and has a lot of growth still to come in the NFL. So a high upside quarterback. I know NFL teams are really bullish on, and, and don't be surprised if he rises to the third, second, and who knows where it goes this draft cycle. All right. Absolutely. Yeah. East West Shrine Bowl coming to NFL Network February 1st. Eric Galco, thank you so much. We appreciate it. As